know, great rivalry, one of the longest standing in the country, and uh, just that much added intensity. But really, it's it's about us, you know, finding a way to protect home court above and beyond all that, um, and continue to build momentum down the stretch here. So uh, it's going to be a heck of a game. Should be a great atmosphere in here. They, they've really uh, gotten on a nice little run here, got some things figured out. So it's going to be a challenge. Are there a couple of factors you feel like that kept your team from better, uh, being better defensively? Uh, it's 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 kind of mind-boggling because we were really good defensively for a while, but uh, you know, at times it's a lack of focus uh, on both ends. You know, things we work on, we don't carry through to games. Things we talk about in timeouts, kind of to remind guys. So, uh, you know, it's there's always a tough little stretch. You know, at some point in the year where uh, guys are a little worn down mentally and physically, but we feel this is a great week to recover. It's a long week. Um, should be some added excitement and enthusiasm because uh, we're playing our rival. So hopefully there's some things there that we're going to work on every day and hopefully that we can carry it through come game time. With a week between games, how much does that change your preparation? Well, it allows you to do a couple of things. It, it's For us, we've got to get some guys mended up a little bit. Um, you know, Zach got a little banged up against Cal. Trace is still hobbled. Um, we'll see how he does today. Uh, so it gives you time to rest, recuperate, but then get some things dialed in that maybe you've had some some issues with, like what we've talked about defensively, um, and then the prep, you know, good prep for for the one one game. You mentioned Trace Hobble. Is that something you think he's probably going to linger with for the rest of the season? Yeah, at, at this, this point, point in time, I mean, he really needed about a month off, and there's just no no time to do that. So, uh, you know, impressed with what he's been able to give us, but it's it's unfortunate again. But um, I know he's a tough kid, and he'll find a a way to, to give us his best with, with what he's got. Looking to this weekend, you know, the opportunity presents itself to sweep Oregon, something that Oregon State hasn't done in quite some time. How do you guys get that done this weekend? Just so you know, it's, an, it's another game that, that we're at, we have at home, and, and we're going to talk about finding a way to get that one and continue to climb, climb the table and, and hopefully cause some separation. Um, you know, all the other stuff is something that, you know, folks can talk about down the road. How much does it change things to uh, you know, I, I think there's positive and negatives. I mean, they, they were tough to guard because they, they had, you know, another, you know, perimeter player, let's say, in there. Um, you know, they were able to do some things, play a little bit smaller and pressure up a little bit. We saw that. Uh, you know, and I know they still do that with him in the lineup. But, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's some tough things for sure with him in there. But there were some things that made them a little more versatile when he wasn't. So... Uh, you know, I, I know he brings a big piece to them defensively, um, you know, and at the rim on the other end. So it's certainly, certainly going to be tougher with him out there. How do you feel like your team has handled uh, full court or three quarters court press since you faced him? Uh, great. It hasn't been much of an issue. You know, a couple times traps from teams spring them on us. We've, uh, you know, coughed it up, but not, not to the extent in that little three-minute stretch there. So we'll work on it again this week and, and be better for it, hopefully. Having a shot blocker like Tyler Kelly in practice help prepare for a guy like Kenny. Certainly, yeah, they're two of the best in the country. So yeah, we get we get to see that every day. Against Oregon down on Matthew Knight, that was one of those games where you guys kind of went and set the tone early, kind of set through that first punch, so to speak. A couple last home games, you guys haven't been able to do that. Is there going to be something key to coming out aggressive and just, ready to go? Just uh, the attention to detail, coming out being the aggressor. That's it's really. It's pretty easy to say it, you know, and it's it's a pretty simple concept, but you've got to carry it to the court. Um, you know, we didn't get off to a bad start against Stanford. I think it was nine to eight or eleven to ten, uh, but then after that we struggled. So we very rarely have come out, uh, you know. I think Washington and uh, you know games like that where we don't get out of the gate offensively, but uh, most other games we've we've been just fine. How big is that defensive field goal percentage number as a gauge as far as how your team's doing? Well, I mean, <laughs> keep bringing that up. We, we won a lot of games when we were doing a great job, uh, Jesse, and we've won some when we haven't. So uh, obviously it's something that we want to focus on and keep improving.